what up, what up, what up? Serial Assassin here, and what's up, people of Legacy Gaming Hub? How you guys been? It's been way, way too long since I did a commentary over here, but I'm back, and uh, I think I got an interesting topic for y'all today. So uh, first off, let me hit you up with some info on the gameplay. Uh, this gameplay is actually from my live com series with my boy Midnight. Uh, Midnight is also a uh, director for uh, Legacy Gaming Hub. So uh, we did a live com series, did six games, and this was game five. Uh, it was a little kill confirmed on slums, and uh, me and my boy Midnight just tore shit up. So I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to watch while I talk about my topic today. So what do I got for you? All right, so... I'm thinking 2013, and yes, Happy New Year to all of you guys. Uh, I'm not sure when Cody's going to put this up, but um, Happy New Year's. 2013 should be a good year, hopefully for me and uh, hopefully for you. So I was thinking, like, what would be an interesting topic, you know, to talk about? So I was like, all right, well, let's, you know, we're all part of this YouTube thing. So let me see if I can get some facts about YouTube. So I did. I went out and I took a look and I found some facts about YouTube. And some of them were very interesting for me. So uh, the first one is, is YouTube.com was actually registered on Valentine's Day in 2005. So how cool is that? Like, you know, these three guys started this uh, YouTube company and they actually registered on Valentine's Day. So I'm sure their wives were like, yeah, you should have been focusing on doing something else rather than registering some stupid domain. But uh, it ended up working out for them. So the very first video on YouTube was one of the co-founders uh, talking about elephant trunks. And it was titled, Me at the Zoo. And it was shot at the San Diego Zoo. And that first video received almost 5 million views. Like, how cool is that? Um, I don't know if it's the most interesting topic, but, you know, for it to be the very first video on YouTube, uh, that that's really, really cool. Uh, another thing is back in 2006, November of 2006, Google actually bought YouTube. And they paid $1.65 billion dollars. Now, the big question is, is what is their return on investment? Uh, and return on investment is, you know, if you buy something for a dollar and sell it for $10, you made $9. That's your return on your investment. So the return on investment right now is Google, if they decide to sell YouTube today, it is estimated that its value is somewhere in the market of $50 billion. So just imagine if you went to the store and you bought, I don't know, let, let's say a, a you know G.I. Joe figure or I don't know, a Transformer figure, and you bought it for $1.70 or $1.65, and you took it home, you put it in a box, and you put it on your shelf, and then you pull it out seven years later, and someone says, wow, that's cool, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Like, that's big time. So it, just just spin it a little bit. Imagine if you paid $165 for it and someone today said, I'll give you 5000 for it. And you just keep going with the zeros and that's what Google did with YouTube. I thought that was freaking amazing. And you know what? In about 10 years, it's probably going to be worth $500 billion. So whew, there's some serious numbers there. Uh, another interesting fact, the longest video ever on YouTube was 48 hours. That's two full days of video. Like, who's watching that one sitting? Obviously, nobody. But, you know, we look at when we go to upload our videos, it says, oh, you're now allowed to upload videos longer than 15 minutes. I want to know who's this guy that he uploaded a video that was 48 hours long. <laughs> that, that's amazing. Uh, so, all right, another thing that was, I found really interesting. I'm from the U.S. I'm from the good old U.S. of A. I'm outside of uh, Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. And I thought the majority of the, uh, the viewers on YouTube would be from the United States. Man, I'm wrong. Only 30% of the viewers on YouTube come from the United States. That means 70% are outside of the United States. So that, that's me being a typical American you know, just thinking that U.S. is the center of the world, and I was way off, but I thought it was really interesting. Um, another fa fact that sort of stood out to me is there are hundreds, hundreds of partners of YouTube that are making six-figure salaries a year. 
could you imagine? I mean, I know there's some big people out there, but could you imagine that you know some you're at a party and someone says, "Ah, what do you do for a living?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, I make video. Uh, yeah, I make videos for YouTube." And they go, "Oh really? <laughs> That's funny." And you're like, "Yeah, you know, I, I make six figures a year," and their jaws drop. Like that is awesome, and I wish you know I could get there one day, and, and it's it's a goal of mine. I don't know if it's going to happen, but if it does, that is super super cool. And here's another fact that's just sort of I was shocked. And you know what? I, I am and I'm not. Let me give you the fact and then tell you why. It says only 10% of YouTube's videos are available in high definition. Now, that's 10%. That's one out of every 10 videos is available in HD. Now, thinking about it, it makes sense. That really does make sense. But in, in our world, in the video gaming community, we upload videos and gameplays. HD is sort of a requirement. But if you think about it, gaming is a very, 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 very small part of the entire YouTube thing. And you think about it, there's a lot of videos people are doing with their cameras, their uh, cell phones, whatever, and, and they're not going up in HD. So that, that makes sense. But when I first saw it, I was kind of like, wow, I'm surprised. But if you think about it in the long run, after you know eight years, 10% of it's in HD, that's pretty good. I mean, all things considering, 10% of the videos on YouTube are, are in HD. That, that's a pretty high statistic if you think about it. Because HD really hasn't been, you know, dominant or prevalent in, except for like maybe the last three years or so. So, you know, that's, that's pretty amazing. All right, and the last fact I got for you, and this is, this is key for some of you guys out there that have your own YouTube channels and you don't have your videos when you upload them or people like them shared out on the Twitter, you're making a mistake. And this is going to tell you why. An auto-shared tweet results in six new YouTube views. So what that says is for every auto-tweet that's sent out from you know YouTube to Twitter, six people will watch that video. Six people. Now, again, that's an average, so take it as you want it. But still, I think that's a pretty cool statistic. So if you don't have a Twitter set up and you're not tweeting out your uploads, your likes, your all that good stuff, you, you're, you're really hurting yourself. So, yeah, and all these statistics I got from YouTube. They, there's uh, It's YouTube slash T as in Tom slash press underscore statistics, and they'll give you all the stats about YouTube. But I thought it was really interesting, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see in the background, I sped the, the game play up just a little bit. Um, not too much, but you might notice. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I, I, I hope you guys appreciated the time here listening to me. Uh, I know I definitely enjoy, uh, doing these commentaries and talking to you guys. So, uh, always feel free to come over and check out my channel, maybe drop a sub and uh, watch a couple videos. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks again, LGH, for letting me upload. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope 2013 is successful for you, my friends at LGH, you, my friends watching, and me. So let's make 2013 a great year. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace!